uh, I'll explain how this blow valve setup works in this configuration I got going on here. Um, you got this hob switch right here in the intake horn. It is adjustable. Um, if you pull that off, there's a screw you can adjust what it sets at, but right now it's set at 4 PSI. Uh, it's got a hot wire feeding directly to it off of the battery. Uh, as soon as that thing hits 4 PSI inside this intake tract, this other wire uh, is then powered, which comes down and feeds into the button that is located underneath of this cover here. Pop this thing off real quick. Okay, so here you go. See the button? It all tucks under there real nice and easy. When you're on the throttle, obviously this pulls back, so that button is not uh, being pushed. As soon as you let off, it makes contact. Sends that power. Of course, it has to be over 4 PSI before this thing sees power anyway. Um, so just sitting at idle, you don't have any issues with this thing opening anything up. Um, it sends power to this solenoid valve uh, right here, which is plumbed in a normally uh, open position that's being fed off the intake horn right here with this hose. So when you're sitting there idling, doing nothing, you have consistent air flowing through into this port, which flows out of this one and feeds the top of the valve, which helps hold it closed when you're sitting there idling. As you get into the gas harder and harder, it continues to increase pressure in your intake horn, obviously, which continues to just travel through and help hold this, this valve down uh, with more pressure. It's got a seven pound spring in it to begin with, and then on top of that, whatever boost pressure you're seeing, plus that seven pound spring, it's gonna help maintain this thing in a closed position. Um, as soon as you let off the gas and you're over four PSI and that button is pushed, what happens is internally this valve will switch and it'll start getting a signal from the vacuum pump, which is this line right here, feeds up, just teed in into that deal, goes straight down, goes off a vacuum. So as soon as that's present and that vacuum is, uh, present to the top of the valve, it actually will suck the valve open and force it in an open position. As soon as 4 PSI, well, less than 4 PSI, is uh, sensed here at this hob switch, it shuts power off to this button, and this returns back into a normally open position with the pressure of your intake horn holding the valve closed. Um, pretty easy setup, really. It's kind of hard to explain it's easier if you're in person to kind of figure it out but everything tucks underneath and uh, there's no evidence of anything being uh, attached to the accelerator pedal at that position um, so it, I mean it's kind of crazy looking rat's nest wiring a little bit I gotta I'd like to kind of clean that up a little bit maybe run the wiring straight off and you know up through there but I just kind of cobble it together real quick to see if it would actually work, which it does. Uh, the only issue that I have right now is I was told by somebody that in a uh, situation where you're on cruise control that your throttle assembly back here will actually hold itself back, um, whereas I had initially thought it just sensed the TPS voltage and maintained that voltage, uh, which is actually what it really does. So in cruise control, there's a slight issue because that button is being contacted and anytime you make over 4 PSI this thing sends power to that button that button is depressed so it sends power to the solenoid valve therefore the blah valve opens until 4 PSI or less is reached and so you get you know a constant from this thing you know opening and closing um, so I'm gonna have to run one of these wires uh, probably this hot one that comes right off the battery and feeds into this um, I'll probably just end up feeding that into a toggle switch inside the cab first. Um, that way when I'm on cruise control, I can flip the toggle switch off and this thing will never have power going to it. So none of that will ever take place. It'll simply just have consistent boost pressure flowing through and holding the valve in a closed position. So, I mean, it's easy, but whatever. <laughs>